representing Pride Combat Gym, Dome Edward. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three two-minute rounds and will be contested under semi-pro K1 rules in the 68 kilogram division. Over to your referee. Well, back with the action after a short break and after the girls have laid it down early on this show, we now go to the... First gentleman of the evening, and this is Adam Langhammer from the Stone Fight Academy and Dom Edwards from the Pride Combat. And it started furiously. I'm Danny Kendrick in the commentary box, and I'm joined by the very handsome Dave Fenson. Well, thank you very much. And yeah, as you say, it's no love lost here. There's no feel and no process. It's just all madness. Pro K1, three two minute rounds. No waiting around. Yeah, it's just six minutes of fighting, isn't it? They need to get on. I do love it, though. Yeah, this is the uh, K1 brand oh, yeah. rule set of kickboxing, and we expect aggression. All strikes scoring the same. Good kicks to the body, though. Yeah, lovely work there. Yeah, Langhammer's strong. Bullying at the moment, isn't he? Yeah, he's got the range, he's got the height, and he's just coming forward, pressure all the time. Oh, that was a lovely, lovely spinning back kick there. There, he wants that axe kick over the top. He gets caught in the head on the way back as well. Good punches, he's better on the back foot. But is he giving him too much space to walk into? Yeah, you don't want to be stepping back all the time and giving him another shot, do you? Especially when he can push kick like that. Oh, lovely left hook to the body, wasn't it? Huge, huge, huge shot. You heard that, didn't you? It echoed into the commentary box and he wore it really well, didn't he? Certainly did. You see the power that's going into every shot, the way they spin right round if they miss. Look at the reddening across the body there of uh, Dom Edwards. Yeah, the good kicks on the back foot. He's scoring, but it's not the power, is there? There's a power difference with these two guys. Well, you can see it just with Langhammer coming forward all the time. That pressure just shows he's got a bit more about him. There's a real good focus as well with um, Langhammer. Yeah. You just see him in the beginning of that fight, exchanging shots, and they go back to the corner and try to come back. They've entered really well. They just fought with um, Izzy Walt Wilkins, which is probably what the break's for. Give them time to recoup. Oh, there's a spinning back kick. Yeah, lovely. Good moves on the back foot from uh, Dom Edwards. He's always looked like he's in this, but... Langhammer just looked strong, didn't he? Yeah, Dom just stepped in there. He stepped into Southpaw, but he stepped his lead leg inside. Uh, a little bit of a positioning mistake. Here we go, round two. Ooh. Yeah, push kicking and trying oh. to keep him away, but the kicks spin him round, don't yeah. they? Yeah, that's, they do not want to leave it to the judges, don't they? All out war under K1 rules in the infamous York Hall. These two guys are leaving it all in there today, I'll tell you that now. They've really come to lay down, haven't they? Certainly have. 
Dom, when he steps in there, you watch him, he steps into Sopo, he steps his lead leg on the inside, which a little bit of a fundamental mistake. When you're not so poor, you need to be stepping on the outside. He probably understands it in orthodox, but... Oh, good luck me, that was. That's a good trick that we've seen now from Edwards. Edwards in all the time. Ooh, nice low kick. Again from Edwards. Chopping that lead leg. You see a big reddening on that lead leg as well. Edwards is finding a good range now, isn't he? Yeah, he's come to life. Ooh. Very accurate from Edwards now. Oh, that left hook to the body. You see him gear up to it and throw that one. Tells a story. Look at the reddening on the body. I think that's a little bit of a curse of the ginger as well, though. You know, yeah. when they have the, the, the white skin, so it shows up yeah, a lot more damage. That's a tan line. <laughs> Good shots going in again from Langhammer, but the Venom's lost a little bit from him at the minute. I think Edwards is scoring really well this round. Yeah, he certainly is. I don't know if Langhammer maybe went a bit too hard in round one. Now his jab starts to find He's not got the target. same power, has he? No, you're right. Cliff. Definitely. Slowing down. Hitting really hard in Ooh. round one. Nice Good movement. angle created there from Edwards. Lo Lovely Finds work. the shots. Look at that. Stiff jab, stiff jab again. Landing nicely. Edwards Ooh. has taken the green pill in this round. I tell you, he's entered the matrix. That's a fantastic round. We're on the back foot as well. That's how you answer someone who comes forward that powerful, right? Certainly. And look at the heads in the corner. This is where it's really interesting. Dom Edwards, head up, listening, shaking, nodding his head. Look at Langhammer, he had his head hanging down and they're telling him, head up, listen to me here. So he's tired. This is gonna be interesting for the third and final. Do you think sometimes after the round one that Langhammer had, do you think I've hit this guy with like everything I've got at the moment and he's still just standing there trading? Yeah. Do you think that does your confidence a bit? Yeah, I think it's difficult, isn't it? Like, and then you, you watch know, him Danny, up their you... game and start hitting you hard. And... <laughs> you've been a professional fighter yourself. You know if you, you give someone everything you've got and they're not going anywhere, it's demoralizing, isn't it? There's one point as well, he's ring crafter. He got round the back of uh, Langhammer, didn't yeah. he? Lovely movement, Superb as you said. Superb movement yeah. and scored the shots. I love that where it's, he's really tight to the body and he just snuck round the outside. He didn't take a big leap round. Yeah. Well, it's got to be all on this round, surely. Look, he is up for this. He was in the middle of the ring before they were ready to go. He knows he's in. It's within reach now. Round one, he took a bit of a hammer in, to be honest, from Langhammer, yeah. no pun intended. <laughs> Don't, oh, yeah. Dom Edwards really showing, but Langhammer's starting to come back with those body shots again. Yeah, and they looked solid, man. Big puncher, isn't he? Wow, this is shaping up to be a cracker of a fight. Listen to that atmosphere behind us. I think they're Dom Edwards supporters from the Pride Combat. Good push Ooh. kick goes up to the face, but he's on the back foot. But he's stopping Ooh. him landing, isn't he? Yeah, he's still landing. Nice. This is like, like, we saw it earlier as well. It's hard to win K1 rules Ooh. kickboxing bouts on the back foot, isn't it? But he's yeah. doing well here. You, you've got to come forward in a K1 fight, really. It's got to be landing shots, but pressure, aggression. But he's doing well, though, like you say. Oh, that didn't have the legs on it. Bad decision to do the back kick there, I think, with him that close. Both Ma guys tired now, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, mouth wide open. You see both gum shields where they're breathing heavily, but you would be, because they both put in a good shift, haven't they? Yeah. Edwards needs to do a little bit more now, do you think? Yeah, he needs to come forward more. Accidental groin shot, but he's all right. Both Oy. go down to the body, gum shield comes out. Finishing quite a strong Langhammer here. Yeah, he's tired, look. Ooh. Ooh, he's still coming forward, look at the grit in his face, I love that. Hard to move back, isn't he? Look, damaging that leg. Oy. But it's responded oh, hey. well from Edwards. This is oh, all out hey. war. <laughs> this is how you finish a three-round <laughs> bout. I said just six minutes of fighting. I tell you what, they've got 100 hours community service into those six <laughs> minutes, I tell you. That's going to go down to the judges' scorecards. Well done, lads. That was great. I loved it.
A really close-ended round will make it interesting on those cards. Yeah, this one's close, Dave, you know. Are they going to look for the aggressor? The aggressor was definitely in the black corner coming forward. Yep, agreed. But on the back foot, he was spoiling him, wasn't he? Yeah, I mean, I, I felt like black corner won round one, white corner won round two. So it's all on the last round. It's all on that last round. My opinion scores for nothing, stands for nothing. No, my commentator opinion. scorecard <laughs> counts for absolutely nothing to everyone We're logging on back home. And, and from the figures, the there's a lot of you, so here's the result. Your ringside judging has arrived at a split decision. So let's hear if you're winner. The judges actually agreed with the commentators for a change. There was a really, really well match bout that. Both guys came to war. Yeah, I think it was down to how the judges saw that third round for me, I, I would suggest. They've gone for the clean shots, haven't they? Yeah. The clean shots on the back foot. Well, it looks like two of them did, and one of them went for yeah, uh, that's and right. scored the aggression. But, but so. I can understand that. There's no criticism. I can understand yeah, yeah. why you would go with an aggressor, exactly. especially under the K1 uh, kickboxing rule set. Exactly, and also that's why you have three judges, right? It's yep. So that it's the majority rule. And just know it back home. The commentators, everything we say, everything we do is there on record. <laughs> and these judges have always got back up. Just soaking up the atmosphere, Dom Edwards here. And what an amazing crowd he's brought. They made huge amounts of noise behind us, haven't they? Yeah, certainly have. I love this venue. York Hall, Bethnal Green, prestigious event, prestigious venue. We got a treat installed tonight, haven't we? We have. I was brought up just around the corner to this place as well, so very special place in my heart.